This trailer is now 13 years old. It's almost been to the moon and back. This trailer gets used for relocating rental Harleys around New Zealand. I borrow it from time to time to bring home large loads of freezer panels for my builds. But this time, the stuff that's on here is to work on this trailer itself. I've emptied it now, I've stashed all the parts over here, and I'm now stripping down the trailer down to the bare frame because it's going to get that half-life refurb. All that front bit's getting thrown away, it's getting a new deck, and it's getting a fully enclosed body. So the Harleys are going to stay clean on their long journey back from the South Island. First I've got to modify the, the existing sides, and while we're doing it I'm going to add a lot more tie-down points so that different loads, apart from just the Harleys, can be carried inside this nice enclosed trailer. Because I've got a gas forge and anvil, it's real easy for me to forge up a whole lot of new D-rings. While Baz, the owner of the trailer, preps the chassis so that he can put down the new floor. This is the bottom track for the panelling that we're going to be using to finish the top half of the job. That's held down with a special adhesive and hundreds of rivets. The corner sections are next. We start from one corner and then work away. So I'm putting in a corner post onto the front panel. Every joint gets glued and riveted. The rivets are put in at about 200 millimeter spacings. That's about eight inches. You'll see that I've removed the plastic protective covering over, off the panel from the edges so that the glue can get a good grip. Everything just gets tapped into place and then we can move over with the first of the side panels and that will simply locate into the same corner moulding. Another one of these goes on the other side. Now we managed to get this job done between Baz's trips down country and rainstorms. So not a lot of filming got done. I'm having a clean up now, not taking my magnet for a walk. I'm actually cleaning up the thousands of rivet stalks that are all over my yard. Baz has taken the trailer to Auckland to load up with some Harleys that need to go down country. And while he's away, I'm giving the yard a clean up He'll be back later on this afternoon and we will fit the guillotined checker plate panels that are going to go down the bottom. And here you go. This is how many rivet stalks there are in my yard. Great for punctures. So this heavy duty base speaker magnet pulled from an old subwoofer now finds duty as my yard cleanup device. I just clean all the old rivet stalks off, finding one or two good ones that we've dropped while we've been working. Pull those out and put them over here and then I can just sweep off the remaining ones that I don't want with my hand into my scrap bucket. We'll go back and get another load. It was about four magnets full, um, a thousand rivets. We went through two packets of 500 to get this job done. We used about uh, five tubes of adhesive and once we've got the build finished I'll get up on the roof and seal all the roof and that will take about another two tubes to get the roof done. The reason this build was completed so quickly is because we used structural and insulated panelling. There is no frame required. So Baz. so Baz has come back with the bikes in the back and we're going to put these checker plate panels down the lower side and he'll be off to Christchurch this afternoon. Okay, stop! Two Harleys and two, two electric bikes. 
I'll be putting the sound in later, so you can call me what you like. Yeah, Baz is calling me names. Reckons I'm pushing too hard on this job. So while he's around one side, I'm around this side. I'm marking out the next panel while he rivets and bombs on the one that I've just finished. There are four of these to do. And then Baz can head off to Christchurch, and when he comes back in three or four days, we'll give the thing some nice LED tail lights and enclose the back part of the rear. The whole job took us just three days. We worked hard, we did 12 hour days. The materials cost was around uh, $2,000. So you can work it out for yourselves what the whole job cost. A great way to turn a flat deck trailer into a fully enclosed vehicle transporter. The grinder does leave burrs, so a little bit of filing is needed. Oh, quick, quick handy tip. If you're using a cutting disc or a grinder on aluminium, it's very grabby. So I keep a block of beeswax to rub my disc with, and that makes it slip through the aluminium a lot cleaner. But not good if you're going to be TIG welding the aluminium, because you have to keep it scrupulously clean for that. So I'm totally in love with my air riveter. You wouldn't want to handle a job like this unless you had one. Because if you did an entire trailer, a thousand rivets with a hand riveter, you would end up looking like Popeye. Now I know that this vid has been a sort of a once over lightly kind of production. That's because what we've only got me? three and a half days to get the job done so we couldn't do a lot of filming. Once the trailer comes back from the South Island in about four days' time, I'll do another air, I'll do another vid where we can have a good look at what went into this build. Trump. Trump oh. one.